the idea of of any child graduating believing that they can leave the world with a surplus I, somebody keeps asking what will they do differently i don't want them to do anything differently if they can make a difference then that's that's done that's done so i don't necessarily want them to change the world but if they can change their world i think that would be a pretty cool citizen to have in the world so what what is this i can magic formula a four simple steps feel imagine do and share design thinking it's what children naturally do. okay and what we've just done is captured it the first thing design for change tells ch- teachers is listen just listen to your child children have fantastic imagination okay and they will make it better and the third thing is do the third step now you've felt and you imagine now go and do it our children are not often told that they can take the action the life is uncertain it's ambiguous and i don't have the answer but i know how to i will get the answer that's a big difference and the fourth step and i believe it's the best step is to share and i think in that sharing um you tell another child anywhere in the world that you say i can do it too i remember as a student being very passive in the class right i mean uh, i remember my teachers would walk in uh, and have a transaction with me right and and the transaction was more a monologue than a conversation so there was no space for conversation um and i think you and if you did your job well that means if you were quiet you were a good student i guess uh, today i find that children need you to be as excited about what you're teaching and about the subject matter you have to learn to improvise you have to learn to be an actor you have to learn to uh, to not necessarily be a content uh, manager or an expert anymore so in many ways it's a lot more i would say uh, uncertain uh, but a lot more um, uh, fulfilling do remember this that children are learning what you are not teaching them they are learning from your body language they are learning when you smile they are learning when you hug your colleague they are looking at you when you think they are not looking at you and they are picking up the greatest education so it's not what's happening in the class that children are learning they are learning in the corridors of your class they are learning when they see two teachers talking are they talking about education at children or are they bitching about each other they are picking all of that up this is not rocket science this is not different go into a class and smile and watch the magic start